Hello, how you going everyone? If you were anything like me, you probably aped into Crypto Blades in the summer of 2021 and then haven't really touched your account since then. But things have changed now and Crypto Blades have finally got their act together and made it possible for you to transfer, to transfer your NFTs from BSC to other chains which have cheaper transaction fees, so making the game economically feasible. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to go through step by step on how to transfer your Crypto Blades NFTs from BSC and get them working over on Hecko Chain. Okay then, I'll go through the step by step so you'll be able to do this without too much worry. Before we get started though, please throw me a like, subscribe and if you haven't already, please activate the notification bell so you can keep up to date with my future videos. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. So step one, go to your regular Crypto Blades account on BSC and click on the top right where you can see the three lines, then change the network to the Heco network. Immediately your MetaMask should pop up and ask you to add the RPC for the Heco network. So approve that and then return back to the BSC network. Okay, step two. Let's go on over to Butterswap, which is an exchange and a kind of a bridge, and connect your MetaMask. Make sure you are connected to the BSC network and, and click on the bridge link. Select the token, select the token you want to transfer over from BSC, then select the chain uh, you want to send to. I will send to Heco, and now select the token you want to change into. I will change my BNB into HT token, which is the native token for Heco chain, and I'll need that to pay for gas. And click swap now. And confirm. Once that gets processed, you can change to the Heco chain. And on your MetaMask, you should see your HT token in your wallet. Okay, step three. Let's pop on back to CryptoBlade's website and make sure your MetaMask is connected to BSC for now. Click on the three lines and click on Bridge NFTs. Click on Show Characters. Now you should see your Warriors on your screen. I have four. Now click on one of them. You can send only one at a time, unfortunately. And then click and then click on Move NFT to Storage. Click OK. On your MetaMask will pop up. Click on Confirm. This will give CryptoBlades permission to access your NFTs. Now you'll need to confirm again. That means you want to do that. So I'm going to fast forward through the same steps that I just did with the first character with the other remaining three. So step four, let's go to the storage. Let's go to storage and send our four characters over to the Heco chain. Okay, so first you need to select the target chain. And in my case, I'll select Heco. Now select one of your characters and then click on request transfer. By the way, the price is 0.1 skill per character per transfer. Now your MetaMask will pop up again, asking for permission. Click on confirm and confirm again. As you can see, there is a queue, so I have a few people ahead of me in line. But uh, after a bit, the status should change to done. So let's check uh, and see if this is, and go on over to the Heco chain now. So go to the three lines, click on options, and change the current change to Heco, and collect switch network on your MetaMask. Now go to the three lines and click on Bridge NFTs and then click on Incoming NFTs and then click on the characters which should show up in the drop down menu. Mine went through really fast but I'm guessing I was lucky so you may have to be patient. Now click 
withdraw character. Click on confirm. Now go on over to your storage, then click on show characters. And voila, hopefully your characters will show up here. And now click on withdraw from storage, then confirm. Now go on over to the plaza link and you'll find your character waiting for you. Okay, step five. Let's check out the profitability of this chain. So I have a, a level 42 water character with a four star sword. I'm going to battle this dude. Looks like I won the fight and I made nine cents. Wow. Let's check out how much that transaction actually cost. So that was 0 0.000432 HT token and the price of HECO is around $10.03 and at the time of this video. So that comes to a little less than half a cent per transaction, which is around 30 or 40 times cheaper than BSC was when I was playing the game over there, if my memory serves me correctly. Let's check out, let's do a quick check on the earnings calculator and I'll select 200 stamina and calculate. So I can make around 12 to $15 from this account per month on HECO, which is definitely better than BSC at the moment. So taking all this into consideration, what do you guys and girls reckon? Uh, if you're anything like me and you have around 17 accounts just sitting idle, then that is a hell of a lot of work to do, uh, but it might be worthwhile in the long run. Please write your thoughts in the comments below. By the way, would you, uh, would you like me to do exactly the same procedure on the Polygon network and then compare HECO and Polygon chains in terms of profitability for CryptoBlades? Uh, if you want me to do this, please let me know in the comments below. If there are enough requests, I will consider it. Okay then everyone, uh, that's all for today. Please don't forget to leave me a comment. It really supports the channel. And see you later. Bye for now everyone.